Let's talk about investigating noteworthy events. You can find these events under the Detection and Response tab. Noteworthy events are created when one or more suspicious objects are correlated. Here you can filter noteworthy events by customer or by a specific time frame. Suspicious objects could include URLs, files, detections, email domains, or even system processes, for example. Let's drill down on a specific noteworthy event. A noteworthy event contains information about the target endpoint, an analysis chain, the first observed object, and other noteworthy objects. In this particular case, we see that access to a URL was triggered by a process, and this process originated from an email message. Also included is a listing of recommended actions. For example, isolating the endpoint or triggering an aggressive scan. Let's take a look at some of the details of the noteworthy objects. For the process observed, we can choose to go ahead and block this object. In looking at the email message that originally triggered the noteworthy event, here we can see such information as the subject, the sender, how many recipients, and whether the email had any attachments or URLs. Here you can see the specific recipient and all the detailed information regarding the URL and attachments. Now let's conduct an investigation to see if this email was also sent to other customers. In this case, let's search using the subject line. Under the Detection and Response tab, select Assessments. From here, you can conduct assessments across endpoints and email. In this case, we're going to select the email assessments. Go ahead and name this assessment. For now, we'll leave it as is. Select the criteria you want to search for, in this case the subject line we pulled earlier. However, you can add in additional criteria, such as the recipient addresses or file hash values, for example. Select the time frame in which you want to run this assessment, and then finally select the customers that you want to search for. Once the assessment is completed, you can review the results. Let's take a look. Based on the assessment, I can see that one of the two selected customers actually received this compromised email. Here I can take a look at the details. From here, we can take mitigation and remediation action. In this case, let's quarantine or delete the email from the user's mailbox. So as you can see, via the remote manager, investigating noteworthy events is quite easy and enables MSPs to be more proactive in mitigating potential threats. Via one console, you can take action across endpoints, emails, and your customers. Thanks for watching.